Hello, wrestling fans, and welcome to this week's edition of MCW Rage TV. I am Mark Bray, and we are coming to you from the great city of Baltimore, Maryland. We are have a capacity crowd here in Severn to see the best action that MCW has to offer, but let's get things started right away. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guests at this time, the Winner's Circle Organization. Dr. Anthony Daniels, PhD, as you like to be called. It is 2012, it is time for the Winter Circle organization, as you say, to take it to the next level. And as I can see, there seems to be many more people here than you've had in the past. And of course, I see the MCW Rage TV Championship on Chris. That's right, Mark Bray. There are some new people here, and there's some more gold in the Winter Circle. The first time, it was nine months ago that I stood inside of this building and I bought Chris Cloud's contract yes, from JP. Yes, you did. And in nine short months, I took him from what was a referee to a champion. That's right, you sure did. And now with Mitch Miller and Paul White, the team at Gemini, we're coming after the tag team titles. Now Mark, sit back and all you horrible, horrible fans out there, sit down, shut up, and watch Chris Clow have his first television title defense. That's right, Doc. Will you lead the way, please? Lead the way, Doc. Thank you. The Winner's Circle organization in all their glory. This first match of MCW Rage TV is scheduled for one fall and is for the MCW Rage TV Championship. In the ring, accompanied by Dr. Tony Daniels, PhD, his sister Ada Marie, and the rest of the winner's circle from Edinburgh, Scotland, the Scottish Nightmare, Chris Kalau. Hello wrestling fans, it's Wednesday night, it's Rage TV. I am Mark Bray, alongside with me, my broadcast colleague, for another week in a row, Earl the Pearl. I'm the greatest commentating partner you've ever had, Mark Bray, and I wouldn't be, dis wouldn't be surprised if last week you weren't saying a few ribs my way while I was out there having a match with me and Ronnie Zuko. Well, I guess you'll have to go look at the tape on that one. In the meantime, we're gonna set it down at ringside here as Hocus, from the Dark Carnival, and Sanchez going to be up Entering in the tag ring this team time is here. the challenger, accompanied by the amazing Sanchez from the darkest part of the midway, Hocus! The faceless Jester Hocus representing the Dark Carnival. He's got a new running buddy by the name of Sanchez. And they got their hands full tonight because Chris Clow is a tremendous talent. Chris Clow, the once honored referee here at MCW, turn wrestler. You gotta, you gotta give credit where credit is due. Didn't think he would hack it inside the locker room without the pinstripes, and he's doing very well for himself as he is the champ. Your Rage TV champion, Mark Bray. Dr. Daniels has done tremendous things, made this man a winner. That's why he's part of a team called the Winner Circle, and he is your brand new MCW Rage TV champion. And 
Cloud Hocus locking it up. Hocus now up against the ropes. The referee calls for a break. You said it right, Earl. He is the reigning MCW Rage TV champion. Well, I tell you, I was going to say, Chris Cloud definitely got the power advantage here on Hocus, but Hocus is being smart. He knows he's a little bit outpowered, and he's using his quickness, but he's not too smart. Look at that, Mitch Miller. Mitch Miller of the Winter Circle organization. And Sanchez. He's got heat. Sanchez is over there yelling at the doctor. And Chris Cloud needs to turn around. He shouldn't take his eyes off of, off of Hocus. The referee telling the Winter Circle organization that they need to leave. Is he? He is. Here comes a pin. Almost one, two, three. Chris Cloud, beautiful spine buster. You got to give it to him, Mark Bray. This man's on a roll. Chris Cloud victorious at our last Green Room show over Oliver Grimsley, who was the Rage TV champion. And of course, the connection with Oliver Grimsley and Hocus does Wait not a minute. Need to be Wait a minute, Mark Bray. Wait a minute. One, two. I thought Cloud might have had him. How fair is it that you make Doc Daniels and the rest of the winner's circle leave while Sanchez is still allowed to stay out here? Well, hold on a second. I believe that Doc Daniels is still at ringside with Ada Marie. So as far as so I can tell. So that's not fair. As far as I can tell, it's still two on the outside for the winner's circle organization and one for the Dark Carnival. We're not counting numbers well, here. I'm We're just talking saying. about what's fair. The winner's circle are a group. They should stay together. Chris Clow looking to make a big move here as he takes his shoulder right into the steel post. He took too long. He started dancing around, and Hocus is going to take advantage, and now Hocus, he's slapping Hocus, some bacon. Hocus, oh, oh. with a big old butt to the face. Chris Clow goes down, and now if he could capitalize and go for the pin here, it could be it, but I don't think Hocus is done quite yet, Earl. Absolutely not. Hocus is on a roll. Chris Cloud better be careful. He's going to be the, the shortest reigning Rage TV champion ever. Beautiful drop kick. Could you imagine if Hocus could take the MCW Rage TV Marie. championship here tonight? Obviously doesn't like what she's seeing. What is Sanchez doing? Looking for a cheap feel out there? Well, hold on just a second. I think he's just trying to be Very fair inappropriate. And even, the, and even the playing field here, Earl. Here comes a pin. And wait a second. Chris Cloud's feet oh, on the ropes. The referee did not smart. see it. And the MCW Rage TV champion Very victorious smart. over Hocus. And he retains his title. He took advantage of the situation. Credit goes to Chris Clow, the most successful referee. The winner ever. of the match, and still MCW Rage TV champion, the Scottish Nightmare, Chris Clow. I'm so proud of you, kid. Yeah, there's a place for Keep you. Keep going, the, brother. There's a place for you in the Danny Davis Hall of Fame. It was the biggest professional wrestling event of the summer in the state of Maryland. Maryland Championship Wrestling's Shane Shamrock Memorial Cup 11. 14 of the greatest professional wrestlers from around the country battled it out inside the squared circle to determine the winner of the Shamrock Cup tournament. Now, this is your chance to own this special edition three-disc DVD that lets you relive the action, excitement, and greatest moments forever with exclusive footage, never-before-seen backstage interviews, and the Holy Rollers vs. Fed Up Tag Team Championship hype video. This DVD set is loaded. Principles of Design Productions presents the MCW Shane Shamrock Memorial Cup 11, available now on DVD at pridesproductions.com. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rage TV, folks. Two of the biggest men in MCW gonna be here in action is Napalm Bomb, the up and comer, and the former MCW heavyweight champion, Kobian, gonna get in some action here. Some tag team action, and man, I gotta tell you, two of the biggest guys, not just in the business now, but in this company that have ever been. Big bodies, puny. Team number one in Drink the Ring, respectively from Miami, Florida, and Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, here is Kobe in and a day pump bomb. I would disagree with you on that one, Earl. Kobe and a former heavyweight champion. He didn't get to that Their spot. Their opponents, not the team of Ja Roth and Nick Rageous. Napalm Bomb and Kobe going up against Mr. 300, Nick Rageous and Ja Roth. And all you got to do is look at this and see it might be just a little bit one-sided here. 
in this matchup, Earl. What are you talking about? That After that beat down that Team McDevitt put on these two guys, you think they're 100% Mark Bray, honestly. Well, they look 100% to me, Earl. Yeah, looks can be deceiving. You ought to know that. Now, Mr. 300. There's nothing in the tank, man. These guys are hurting. I don't care what they say, what they look like. It's like that real pretty girl, but she's just nasty. And that's what I see when I see these two beautiful bodies. Oh! Oh, my goodness. And Nick Ray just takes a... Now, how is that legal, Mark Bray, to kick a man in his teeth like that? I think Nick Ray just might be done in this matchup. And now, Ja Roth... Got caught with an arm drag. I'll tell you, I'll give, I'll give these guys their due. They're tremendous athletes. They're big, they're strong. And I happen to know that Nate Pombaum is a very intelligent man. I can't say the same for Kobean, but it doesn't matter. We like them big, we like them strong, we like them intelligent. So when we destroy them, it makes us look even better. Well, that may be your opinion on the matter, but let's get back to the action inside the ring as Ja Roth on the receiving end of an onslaught of offense by the Napalm Bomb. And ja Roth, a big competitor himself, very big, good size, but he's just green. Yeah, he, he don't have the experience of, say, the Holy Rollers or Dan McDevitt. Of course, get your plug in this there. This kid's got a good future ahead of him, but I, I, he might be a little bit outmatched here. Now Kobe and the legal man working on Ja Roth continuing to work on the arm, that napalm bomb, oh. yikes. See, he'd never be able to catch myself or Rich Myers with that. We're too slickery. You know, anything you say is recorded on here and could come back to bite you in the butt. No, oh, brother, nothing's coming back to bite the Holy Rollers. And now he's setting up. It looks like he's going for this big swanton bomb. And it's wonderful athleticism. Napalm oh. bomb. But he'd never catch one of Team McDevitt with that. Here comes the cover, one, two, three. And Napalm Bomb and Kobe and victorious here. Tag team action on Rage TV, making quick waste of Ja Roth and Nick Rages. And I didn't the know. winners of the match, Kobe and, and the Napalm Bomb! Enjoy it while you can, fellas. Oh, team McDevitt's coming. You guys are on borrowed time. Believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm standing here with Kobe and, and Napalm Bomb, victorious here on Rage TV. Obviously, well, hold on a second. Ladies and gentlemen, you knew this was gonna come to a head. Jimmy Cicero, Christian York, heavyweight champion Tyler Hilton, and Ryan McBride. I'm sure, I'm sure, Jimmy Cicero, you have a few words for what's been going on the last couple of weeks on Rage TV. I got more than a, a couple of words, um, and they're directed at a whole lot of people. But Dan McDevitt, you got such a receipt coming to you. You're a piece of garbage, and you're a coward. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you what, Dan, and, and I'm going to tell you like this. You're right. He does suck. Hey. I'm going to tell you this. You fired me. I got reinstated, and now I'm coming after you. And let's make one thing clear, Dan McDevitt. No one is dirtier than wise guy Jimmy Cicero. There are a lot of questions going on in MCW. One is, what is Team McDevitt going to do with Team Cicero over here? You have some of the best athletes that have come through MCW in the last 10 years. But Ronnie Zuko, I have my eyes on you. 
You barked up the wrong tree. I have been the most dastardly man in all of Maryland championship wrestling. Hell, all over Maryland of the last 10 years. So Ronnie Zuko, I got my eye on you. Come on and bark up this tree, big boy, because I'm standing right here. Let me tell you something, Nui Tofiga. You better hope the next time our paths cross, you knock me six feet in the ground. I'm gonna be your worst nightmare. You can promise that. You know, I've never been the type of guy that really cared a whole lot about what people thought about me, right or wrong. I've never really been the type of guy that really cared what happened to others. But I'm gonna tell you something right now. Team McDevitt, you knocked on the wrong dude's door, man. Because I'll tell you what, if you want anger, I'm gonna give you anger. And if you want intensity, I'm gonna show you intensity. And if you want aggression, I'm going to rain it down all over you. Because you know what, Dan? I'm talking to you directly. I'm still your MCW heavyweight champ. You know, I've never been much for talking. I like to handle my business in the ring. But Adam Flash, this one's for you. You've officially pissed me off. You've lit my fuse, and I promise you, at the end of this night, you will pay for everything you've done. I promise you. You're on my list, Flash. Team McDevitt, I hope you have eyes in the back of your head because we're coming. We're coming from all corners, any door, any window. Keep your eyes open, because we're coming with a receipt. Hassa! Folks, you could cut the intensity in this room with a knife. MCW in a state would seem of civil war. We will be right back. Hey, this is Bad Boy Barry Hardy. And if you're thinking about getting into the wrestling business and you want to be trained by one of the best and one of the craziest wrestlers that there is in the business today, you're looking at Gilbert's Wrestling Academy. That's right, baby. If you think you've got what it takes to become a pro wrestler, manager, valet, and or referee, come on down to Gilbert's. Call us at 410-969-8077. That's in Severn, Maryland, baby. Gilbert's. Ah! Just a second there. Uh, another interesting Freddie Orkin at ringside. You know, who does Jimmy Cicero in? think he is? I see Freddie Orkin coming out here. This guy's a fruitcake. He's a little weird. He's new to MCW. Always looking for rats. But I tell you what, Jimmy Cicero, you want to talk about handing out receipts? You don't give Dan McDevitt a receipt, brother. We got something for you, and we got something for every single person that was in that ring, including Christian, including the great Ryan McBride. And look at this goof setting mouse traps. And I, and I, I, I imagine you're going to say that uh, from Commissioner Atlanta, Cicero, Georgia, former Commissioner Cicero, had something to do. Making his MCW in-ring debut, Freddie Orkin. This is the first time we've seen Freddie Orkin actually inside the ring. His opponent, Davion Reed. Davion Reed. Making an impressive start here at MCW over the recent weeks towards the end of 2011 and coming into 2012, gonna get his hands on <laughs> All I Freddie can say Orkin is for this the must first be, time. This must be the work of Dennis Whipwreck or Candy or something because there's no way Dennis Whipwreck had anything to do with any of the good talent that was here on Rage TV. Oh, look at that. The referee calls for the bell. He must have brought this fruitcake in. Look at this guy. Your 
calling this man a professional wrestler, Mark Bray? I'm calling, I'm not sure what I'm calling him, but I There you go, Devion, put it on him. I got some rats for you. Reed's had about enough of this. Young Devion Reed's here to prove a point. Here to show that he belongs here on Rage TV. Listen to the, what do you do with that? <laughs> Freddie Orchid. Right high pitched. He's gonna lose his debut man. match. And he's able to kick out. That might have been the highest scream I've ever heard come out of a professional wrestler in my entire career. I think this guy might be in the wrong business, Mark Bray. <laughs> Another product comes. of Jimmy Cicero. One of his last official signings. Time, yeah. That's just how you book town. Look at this, look at this guy. I think he got mad, Mark. And Freddie Orkin. Listen to him. Apparently has some something in him anyway. Oh, he's wound up now. Maybe a little bit of wrestling talent here that we hadn't seen. And as he's going to work on Devion Reed. Textbook body slam. I don't know about textbook, but it he was a body He goes for slam. the cover. One, two. Devion Reed able to kick out. I, to be honest with you, I didn't think Freddie Orkin had any bit of wrestling ability inside him at all, but he looks like he's starting to show a little bit here in this matchup on Rage TV, his debut match here at MCW. Look at that! And wow! wow. I'm surprised he didn't go for a pin. Looks like he's going to try and go for a submission here. He's locked in a Boston Crab. Devion Reed trying to get to the ropes. Oh. Orkin pulls him to oh, the center of the ring the and he sets it in. That's got to be all. He taps out. And Freddie Orkin. Freddie victorious. Orkin gets a win with the rat trap. You didn't know I knew that, did you, Mark Bray? I was actually going to ask you how the heck you knew that to begin with. That's impressive. Well, look at him running. There is hope for you as a journalist of the match yet. By submission, Freddie. Orkin! Yeah, what's up, man? Yeah, I'm down here at uh, MCW headquarters, Marlon Championship Wrestling. I'm the new host of the hot seat. Down here about the film and everything, about to have some fun. Oh my God, man, guess what? I seen Herman Cain at a women's rally, man. It was so funny. But all the women was running from him. What the hell? And Sarah Palin is going to be in a spelling bee. Don't she write stuff on her hands? And talk about strange. You can talk about Kim Kardashian marrying an NBA player. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, come on. And her sister marries Lamar Odom. Lamar Odom? He looks like Shrek Skinny. I'm like, come on. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Somebody just walked in. Let me see what it says. It looks like Jehovah's Witnesses. Hold on. Who the hell? Can I help you? Oh, Marlon Championship Russell. Okay, hold on, let me, uh, I'll call you back. Hey, what's going on, Maryland Championship Wrestling fans? My name is CJ Brandy. I'm a local comedian here in the Baltimore area. What we're going to do, I'm the new host of Maryland Championship Wrestling's The Hot Seat. And what we're going to be about, we're going to be about having fun. You know, we're going to get the questions answered that you, the fans, want to know about your favorite Maryland Championship Wrestling. So each and every weekend, hopefully, we'll see somebody in this seat. Nobody is safe. Kobe and Dan McDevitt. Napalm bomb, fed up. No, no, I'm safe. We're going to ask questions. We're going to have fun, man. This is going to be lovely. I'm just, can't you see the devil all in my face? It's just, it's going to be fun. So I need you guys to tune in on Facebook. Like the page, not a fan. Like the page because it's going to be off the hook, man. Well, I got to go back and talk to Obama to finish talking about these gas prices because they are ridiculous. Yeah, Obama. Yeah, man, what's what's going on with the gas being 395? What's what, what's up with that? Do you drive? Oh, you don't. Okay. It's the return of the MCW hot seat. Go to MCW Facebook page, facebook.com/mcw or I'm sorry, Maryland Championship Wrestling. Find out more information about that. Welcome back to Rage TV. Mark Ray alongside with Earl the Pearl, Hall of Famer. And MCW, and here we go. Entering the ring at this time. The Winner's Circle Organization. Back in action. Entering the ring by Tony Daniels, PhD, and his sister, Inda Marie, and the Rage TV champion, Chris Clow, from the haziest part of your mind, the Blue Haze, R.K. Blue. 
Another product of Doc Daniels here in the winner's circle, RK Blues, who has done a 100% flip from anything that he used to resemble, the son of the great Hall of Famer, Ricky Blues. And I tell you what, the boy's been a lot more successful since he's been under the tutelage of Doc Daniels. You will get no argument out of me there, RK Blues, I'm sorry, the Blue Haze has definitely done a complete 180. It's completely different than he was under the tutelage of his father. If that's for the better, still yet to be seen here at MCW, but so far, so good for the youngster. And now we're gonna see something up here a little bit, a uh, little bit different here. You're gonna see Hocus and the amazing Sanchez, who you saw at ringside Carnival. before, is now gonna get some action here. Finally, we get a chance to see opponent, Sanchez inside Tijuana, the ring. Tijuana, Mexico, the amazing Sanchez! His new running buddy, the faceless Jester Hocus. We're gonna see what Sanchez can do against a world-class athlete, the caliber of the Blue Haze, Ricky Blue's son, RK Blues. He's a MCW thoroughbred. official Tanya calls for the bell. Folks, there you, you go. want good action, you're not gonna get any better than right here at MCW as the Blue Haze. Starting off hot, Sanchez. He went for a beautiful hip toss takeover. Sanchez turned into an arm drag. And now he's on the offensive. Monkey flip. Oh, I thought he was going to land on his feet. Going to go for a quick pin. Try to put it away early. Unable to get the victory. As referee Tanya says, it's there only you a go. two count. That's what he needed to do. This kid needed to get more aggressive. And he certainly has. You can thank Doc Daniels for that. No mistake and no doubt about it. RK Blues. Always known for his ability, known for what he could do oh. inside the ring, but always seemed to lack that fire. He Maybe just had some right. fire right there. He just dumped Sanchez on the back of his head. And there has definitely been an attitude change since he was recruited by the Winner's Circle organization. Whatever goes on at that compound. The Rage TV champion is going to help him out. Oh! And while the referee's back Aiden is Marie turned. with a slap. Look at Doc Daniels. How Look proud. You know, proud. he should be proud. Look at a smile on his face. He's got some tremendous young talent around him. He's got the Rage TV champion. He's got Blue Haze, RK Blues, showing up Sanchez here on Rage TV. He's got to be feeling good, Mark Bray. Now Whoa. the amazing Sanchez with a little bit of offense of his own takes the Blue Haze down. And now Ada Marie on the far side of the ring. How smart. Ada knew that RK got his head knocked off his shoulders, and she's giving him a chance to catch his breath. And Ada Marie doing what she yeah, does best. Yeah, he's going to hit a woman. Go ahead, Sanchez. Oh! And a blue mist. We've seen this before to the face of the amazing Sanchez. Sanchez has been in the referee. Yeah, that's has a disqualification. But you know what? They're sending out a message. Look at Doc Daniels. Look at this, Ricky Blues is hitting the ring. That's his dad. Ricky Blues, Hall of Famer inside the ring, knocking some snack into some sense into his son. And now they're going for it oh, outside come on. the ring area. Oh, Ricky Blues, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. It's called Tough Love, Earl. Tough Love. Tough Love. If that boy would be a couple years younger, he'd be going to prison right now for child abuse. Get on him, Doc Daniels. Chris Clow, the heavyweight champion. Wait a minute, Alexander James! Alexander James! He doesn't work here anymore, Mark Bray! Alexander James coming from the back. He lost the Loser Leave Town match. He used to be a part of the winner's circle. What's going on here? Hold Get on out of second. there, Clow. Alexander James with a personal vendetta. And hold on a second here. Hold this on a second. This man lost the Loser Leave Town match. He should not be here, Mark Bray. Well, it looks like Alexander James back at MCW with one thing on his mind. It looks like for revenge. I don't know what's going on here. The last time we seen him, he was a part of the winner's circle. But he's definitely not a part of him anymore. Chris Cloud looks like he's seen a ghost. I'm going to personally look into this one, Mark Bray. MCW, we are Maryland Wrestling.